here's the smash hit, Bird Pyre. You know about the wolf man and Dracula too. The mummy and the creature from the Black Lagoon. But there's one little monster that's not like the others. He's a vampire bird and he's coming for your mother. Hey Rick, it was super nice meeting you, buddy. On your 2024 Super Delta King 10. Which you are stating has no sound at the output. Nothing coming out of the old speaker. There's a missing finishing washer there, which you probably know about. But otherwise, man, she's uh, she's in splendid shape, as you would expect. So we'll get on Good our way. Good afternoon, Rick. Back in your Supro Delta King 10. Looking at the 6v6 socket, we're scoping out for some power measurements. So pin one here will have no connection. Pin two, pins two and seven actually, uh, those are your heaters, so that's what I expect to see. Pin three will be the anode, otherwise known as the plate, about 400 volts. Pin five will be your screen grid, which should be about the same as the plates. And right, it's Rick, not... Sorry for the uh, shaky camera here, I don't have time to take my stand out. Pin number four here is what I was referencing before is this the screen supply node on this tube socket. It's connected by uh, this jumper over to the rail over here. Purple wire down here. And let's see, there's the dropping resistor. That's not an issue. What is an issue? This guy here. So this is right off of the standby switch comes off of your reservoir cap as the as uh, the first B plus node then it power goes down the uh, the rail to the next uh, filtration stage for the screen supply now that's this guy disrupting the the flow of, of voltage to the amp on that standby switch and it jumps across this dude right here who looks partially vaporized and then no doubt this is the, the node itself. This cap, hopefully this cap hasn't shorted and um, pulled excess current through this resistor, but it doesn't look Body. like. So this is the roasted screen grid resistor on your Supro Delta King 10. And this is the replacement. Right in there, that blue guy. So we'll get it put back together, test her up, and report back. Bye-bye. Rick, what's cooking, buddy? Not much time for a little audio demo, but your Supro Delta King 10 is done. Bit of a nightmare to get access to the business end of the PCB. No big deal, though. I can handle a nightmare or two. So the amp is no longer running at 140% of its max rated power dissipation. We're, we're now running at a healthy 100 to 105% given this is a single ended class A. It's kind of nice. A little bit of noise from the room and my Strat here. <laughs> This little bitty combo. Nice little sound. Let's see if we can get a little more volume out of there. Get some more treble. <laughs> Let's try 
boost. And we have one more option left on the table, which is uh, a little uh, gain boost there. single coil, a little bright. Not sure how this is coming through. And let's take the boost off and engage the drive. Whoa, mama. Simultaneously. See what kind of mayhem that unleashes. Whoa. My guitar there. <laughs> know how adventurous this video was I'm incredibly busy so incredibly busy I'm gonna see my my dad who is dealing with stage four some stage four nasties and get my workload balanced before I just thought this was pretty funny good old California huh Cancer and reproductive harm. Reproductive harm, you're using this thing the wrong way, buddy. This should be doing the opposite if you guys are good enough. So, um, I would say, um, I would lacquer this. If I was gonna keep this amp, uh, because this is very much, very, very, very soft material, sorry about that. And it's not gonna wear too well. So I would probably lacquer that. Give it some uh, protection and probably make it look cool too. So, yeah, you guys be safe out there. Um, this, this amp was incredibly challenging to work on because the bias resistor is at the bottom of the PCB and you cannot test anything until the amp is fully reassembled. And then getting the, uh, the main PCB out proved to be uh, quite challenging. And then they they had some very um, various obstacles here, including a, a very liberal use of it wasn't the, the usual R R RTV. It, it was something that it was like cock almost. I I had to I I had to use uh I had to use my wire cutters to get through it and then heat it up then scrape it. Uh, they had literally caulked over several key solder joints that I needed to access to do the repairs. So shame on you, Supro, but she's sounding nice now. For how long, who knows? Hopefully long. Bye.